Hello, I'm Teacher Wen Jie from Writers at Work. In today's video, I'm going to share how I would tackle the 2023 PSLE oral exam questions. This video is part of a series showing you, dear viewers, how to answer the various questions given for the 2023 PSLE oral exam. So, do remember to like and subscribe for more in this series. Okay, let's get started. So for the first question, would you like to see this exhibit? Why? Or why not? This question is actually two questions, a yes-no question and a why question. Therefore, you will need to state your preference and then explain the reason for your preference. Generally, you should answer such questions as truthfully as possible, as your explanation will be genuine and it will come more easily to you. Now, this question comes with a poster and you are asked about an activity within, so you must make use of the poster to help you in your response and explanations. When looking at the poster, identify as soon as possible the heading or the title, the subheading or the subtitle, the organizer and the organizer's aim. You can answer this question by having a mental outline of your answer. Use the acronym PEEL as your general framework. What does PEEL stand for? Hmm, I'm glad you asked. First, P, point. Express your interest and state your choice. Second, E, elaborate. Explain the reason for your choice. Third, evidence. Provide some personal experiences as evidence. And fourth, link. Link back to the question and state your choice once more. So let's see how we may use P-E-E-L to answer the question. I shall share with you both yes and no responses. Now what if you say yes? Well, yes, I would like to see this exhibit as I've always been interested in science, particularly on what the future may hold in terms of inventions and scientific breakthroughs. I'm especially interested in the flying car exhibits as well as the one for the talking robots. When I was young, I used to watch this cartoon called The Jetsons, dating myself here, and many of the characters in the show flew around in flying cars and in robots which could respond intelligently and perform tasks much more efficiently than a human. I remember wondering, hmm, what would it feel like to zoom through the city in all three dimensions and getting to actually fly a vehicle that isn't a plane? We could get to places faster without being constrained by fixed roads and paths. Imagine being able to park directly at your apartment on the 50th floor. Also, I felt it would be nice to have robots to talk to when I am happy, sad or angry. And they would be a good listening ear and even be able to provide advice. As an introvert, I find this an ideal situation to be in because I do not want to have the social pressure to interact, yet can still have conversations. The robots will not argue with me or judge me and I do not have to keep up socially with it. At least, that's how I imagine it. Some of the robots in the Jetsons were full of emotions and could be somewhat feisty and sarcastic though. Now, people back then when the cartoon was made somewhere in the 60s probably believed flying cars and talking robots would be a reality by now. Unfortunately, we are going to have to wait a few more decades or so. Hopefully, this vision will become a reality when I'm old enough to drive. Meanwhile, this exhibit will satisfy my curiosity. I would also like to know more about scientific developments and what we could expect in the future. Overall, I think the future is ours to behold and experience. It is the only point in time we can move towards, even though we all do so differently. So, yes, I would definitely like to go to this exhibition, and hopefully these will become a reality someday. And that's it! Do you want to hear how we can answer this question with a no? Watch the next video and follow us for more PSLE exam tips. Bye!